Hey guys, it's Arslan from SoccerBasics.com. Today we're going to be looking at defending. Defending is the first of two key aspects in soccer, the other being attacking. Having a solid defense is what makes a winning squad. A lot of defending is based on instinct and sacrifice. It can take place anywhere on the pitch to win the ball back, but generally happens on the defender's own side of the pitch, between their own half line and their own goal. Though it is not as glamorous as attacking, it is just as satisfying. A typical defense consists of a four-man back line, including a left and right back who support the midfield and two center backs, one of which plays as a center back while the other plays as a sweeper. The key to defending is being aware of everything which means being aware of the attackers, their movement, and space being made. Basically, a defender should stay goal side, letting the ball and the attacker being in front of them. Make sure you're not between the attacker and the ball, as this will give them a chance to score. Make sure there's three feet of space between you and the attacker. If you are too far and don't apply pressure, he can make a pass. If you are too near, he can get around you. Once you get into the position where you are three feet away from him, use your hands for balance, crouch low, one foot in front of the other, ready to pounce, with your weight on your toes. That is called the defensive stance. Keeping your eyes on the ball, you have to remember that your objective is to contain, not to commit, as you can be deceived by the attacker if you tackle too early. You have to wait for reinforcements, so hold him up. Or you can wait for the attacker to make a mistake, then reading his game, anticipate his move and make a tackle accordingly. Now there are two main arts to master in defending, the first being jockeying and the second being challenging. Jockeying is basically delaying an attack by getting in an attacker's way. When approaching, get in quickly, but not too quickly as when you're 5 yards out, slow your pace to get one on one with the attacker. He can get around you if you are coming in too fast. You should get close enough to within touching distance, getting into the defensive stance, staying goal side. Pressure them by going diagonally, pushing them to the line, as then a tackle can be made, making the attack die down. If you can't push them to the line, then here's a quick tip. Pressure them into going onto their weaker side, so that they can make a mistake. Challenging for the ball is the most dangerous part of soccer. Great defenders master this art. You need determination to put your body on the line. There are several types of challenges, but they all have one thing in common, timing. They make sure that they only tackle the ball. The first type of challenge, intercepting, is actually quite simple. Reading the game, the defender has to come in at an angle when he sees a bad pass being made. He should always be on his toes in case he misses the ball. The second type of challenge is the front block. Basically to do this, you have to be in front of the attacker. Watching the ball, use the inside of your foot to tackle. Pushing your weight forward, bending your knees on impact. The third and final challenge is the slide tackle. It seems more desperate as you are on the ground. Approach from the side, never from behind. Keeping your eyes on the ball, if you're coming in from the right, bend your left leg and use your right leg to tackle. Remember to tackle the ball and not the opponent. Then get up quickly and chase down the ball. So those were the basics on how to defend. I hope you guys learned something from today's session. If you have any questions or comments, then visit my website soccerbasics.com. Enjoy!